In this gig bag, I've got some pretty cool stuff. Got a couple of guitars. What's the first one we're gonna do? Ooh, a Strat. Let's do it. Welcome back folks, this is Shane. So today we're reviewing this, the Fender Player Series Stratocaster. Let's check it out. So here's the guitar up close. Now I've had a million requests to review one of these as I also own an older generation Fender Standard Mexican Strat, which I absolutely love. So there's not a whole lot of difference between them in terms of how they feel to play. The only major difference that I've noticed is the fret edges on these ones are a lot sharper than mine. For whatever reason, they've just taken more care with my particular Strat. I don't know if it's just one out of the bunch that might not be quite as smooth on the, edge of the edges of the frets, but it's nothing that you can't fix either way. So it's nice and simple to sort that out. And overall, in terms of tone and in terms of how the switch feels and the pots, they all feel really good. In terms of the neck shape, it's a modern C, so it's not a fat 50s neck or anything like that. You find this kind of shape across the range. It's also a 9.5 inch radius as well on the fretboard or the fingerboard. So yeah, it's a nice comfortable guitar to play. You can really get under it and sort of bend up the strings. No problems at all. We get three single coil pickups and as always, both pickups, either neck and middle or bridge and middle are also hum cancelling in those positions. So if you do have a lot of buzz, you can simply just get in onto those positions and get rid of it that way. In terms of the controls, it's a bog standard strap. We get a volume control and two tone controls. Play Series also has the string through tuners, so you're not getting the vintage tuners that you might find on other guitars from their range. A massive thanks to Sky Music for letting me borrow this. If you live in Australia, check them out. I'll leave some links below. If you live overseas in the United States, I'll leave some Sweetwater links there as well. Let's get into it. Let's kick it off. I'm plugged into the Kemper using a profile I made of the brand new Fender Bass Breaker 30R amplifier on the Clean Channel. We'll go for some rhythm stuff, and then we'll try some dirty tones in just a minute, starting on the neck pickup. Here we go. Over to neck and middle. Over to middle pickup, as I call it, the forgotten pickup on a strat. Great sound, that middle pickup. Over to middle and bridge. This is the funky pickup, I like to call it. Man, I love that pick, that pickup combination's great. And over the bridge, it's gonna get a lot more steely sounding now. Let's try some blues lead tones now on the drive channel of the Fender Bass Breaker 30R. Let's give this a shot. This is neck pickup. <laughs> Thank you. 
Over the bridge. Alright, over to some high gain stuff. And now with the drive cranked, let's give this a shot and also a little bit of delay. <laughs> Neck and middle. Over to middle pickup. Is it me or does that middle pickup on this guitar sound like a million bucks? That's awesome. Far out. Middle and bridge. And over to bridge. Here we go. Sounds great, and one of the cool things about it is I just switched between neck and bridge a few times there just to show that the output is extremely well balanced. So, yeah, going from bridge to neck pickup and vice versa, there's not a lot of difference in the output, at least audibly here in the room, which is great. That bridge pickup has got so much attack. <laughs> Thanks for watching folks, my name's Shane. So what do I think of the Player Series Strat overall? If you're in the market for a single coil Strat, you can't go wrong. They sound great. And I'm not just saying that because it's in my hands. I actually own an older Fender Standard Mexican Stratocaster, which I absolutely love. It feels great. There's not a lot of difference in the feel of the guitar. The only noticeable difference is the fret edges, like I've said earlier. Just these ones feel a little bit sort of taller or sharper on the edges. They're not sharp as in you gotta get cut, but they're more prominent. These ones feel a little bit better, but it's so, it's there's not a huge difference in it. Otherwise, they feel pretty much the same in the hand. New name, basically the same type of guitar, a really solid Strat. Now, if you feel like maybe the US Strats are too expensive, these are probably the best alternative to that that you can get through any brand. It's hard to find something that's at this price that plays and sounds as good as it does while still having the Fender name. There just really isn't anything else. You could go for a Squire Classic vibe, but after just doing a video on the Squire Classic Vibe, the 60s one, which I shot just prior to this video, this feels like a much nicer guitar in the hand. It really does. So yeah, this is a, a bit of an upgrade from sort of like the higher end Squire guitar. So keep that in mind. A massive thanks to Sky Music for letting me borrow this. I really appreciate it. If you live in Australia, check out the links through to Sky Music in the description below. If you live in the United States, I'll leave some Sweetwater links down there as well and help support the channel. So thank you again, and I will catch you soon. See ya. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and click the bell for video notifications.